We're done, guys. We're almost done. Two more chapters. Two more chapters. So excited. So excited. And finally, let the walls come down. Finally excited. Finally. Finally decided to finish the up book. Finish the 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 book. <sighs> I'm feeling good. I feel light headed. Sorry, right, here we go. Chapter 11. Cordy. Well, if it isn't, Mr. Microphone. My cheek started to burn. Oh, you heard about that? Uh, Cordy laughs. But not in a mean way. Nate, you hijacked the public address system. The whole mall heard about it. Blush. Exactly, I think I'm going to skip over that scene where I, when I wrote my life story. Time to change. The subject. What's that? I ask. This is just a price guide. What's a price guide? It's this the cash value of the collectible comic books, he explains. Hand it to me. You wouldn't believe how much some of them are worth. I flipped through it. Um I just I thought I knew I thought I knew a lot about comics, but I've never heard of some of these. Cock Gordy, can I borrow this? Just for a little while. Just for a little while. Sure, Nate, he says. Sure, Nate, he says. Bring it down to bring it down to the store later. And look at look out for the cops. Those small cops. Ha, thanks, Gordy. I, I pr sprint home fast. Skateboard fast. Zoom. You're probably wondering what, what would go on. Well, I'm not really sure. Not yet. For now, all I can tell you is this. I need a miracle. I need if I'm going to beat Arth Arthur. I might be right under my nose. It, it might be right under my nose. At the end of the troop meeting on Thursday, we all we all give our order forms to Teddy's dad. Great job, Scouts. We announced the prize winners at the Jumbo Bree on Saturday. Guys, Ar Arthur asked me, what is Jabro Jumbree? It's some sort of Timber Scout Carnival, Francis says. Jumbery, jumber. Wait, is it jumbleweed or I don't even know how I say it. It's sort of a, it's sort of a timber scout carnival. Francis says. I meant, yeah, Francis says every troop in the city will be free. Well, I meant, will be there. Oh my gosh, it's like the Mount Olympic. Arthur, ex I explain, but without all the boring math. Honk, honk. There's a Arthur's. There's Arthur's right. He waves at his, at his climbs into the car. Well, I hope I will win. I will winning a prize. He says, "So long, guys." He hopes he will win. Teddy wonders al aloud. The way Arthur's been selling those wall hangings, he's a lock. Don't be so sure, boys. I say, Arthur just might have some competition. If I do say so myself, who you? I thought you were behind, way behind him. I was. I nod, but then. Bumble Boy came to the rescue. These guys look confused. Hey, I can't say I blame them. I'd never heard of, of Bumble Boy either until the yard sale last fall. No, no, right. Nate's real life yard sale comics. I was on my way from home, soccer practice. Oh, look, like some good stuff. Yard sale. Cole, an old comic book. Bumble Boy, how much? 50 cents. It I took it home and read it. But this is and but this is boring and some of the pages are upside down. I tossed it into the, my closet and forgot about it. No wonder it only cost fifty cents. So you brought some old moldy old so you brought some moldy old comic books, says Francis. What does that have to do with the fundraiser? Call your jets, Francis. There is more to the story, I say. I told him about Gordy and his price guy. And when I looked through it, guess what I found? Bumble Boy, issue 12. The item has been a hot collectible due to an unusual production error in some copies. P PP 30 to 52 are printed upside down, valued up at 
to pay oh, pages 35 to 52 are printed upside down valued at up to $1,000 in mint condition I couldn't believe it a thousand bucks I was almost positive I had this exact same comic book in my closet I just wasn't sure I could find it my closet it took a long long it took a whole lot of searching but finally jackpot Bumble Boy issue 12 it matched the same copy perfect same it matched the price guide perfectly my 50 cent comic book was a collector's item end of story I say I took it straight to classic comics and sold it for a thousand dollars no Gordy's boss said it was it wasn't a make edition I say the cover was was a little bit ripped and um there might have been some cheese doodle stains on the pages but he still paid me a lot. Maybe enough to win that skateboard. If a skateboard was what you wanted, you could have just bought it on one with the Bumble Boy, mon Bumble Boy money, Teddy points out. See, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. You didn't have to spend all of your wall paintings on, spend it all on your wall paintings. But then I wouldn't have raised any money for the Timber Scouts, I reminded him. And I wouldn't have the chance for once in my life to beat Ardor. Well, how much did you raise, Francis asked. I don't want to jinx it, I say. You'll find out at the Jamboree on Saturday morning. Francis and I walked over to the football field and where the Jamboree is after we found Teddy and the rest of the guys. We walk around and check everything out. That's when Ar Arter st starts bugging me. Horseshoes. Who wants to throw some horseshoes? I'll try. Z. Good one, Nate. Thud. Your turn, Arthur. Okay. Zip. Arthur, you're supposed to throw underhand. Clang. A ringer. Awesome, Arthur. Was just a lucky throw. You can't. You can say that again. Look, mini golf. Watch and learn, fellas. Arthur. I mean, ah, oh, so close. Look out, Nate. Arthur's p putting. Oop, too hard. Tongue. A clunk. A hole in one. Arthur, you're amazing. See what it's like? Even when Arter has no idea what he's doing, everything goes his way. It's so... Attention, gather around. Oops, the Countmaster, this could be it. It's time to announce the prize winners for the year's fundraiser. Yep, this is it. My stomach turns, starts doing flip-flops. I might have raised enough money to beat Arter. Then again, it could have sold out a lot more warm fuzzy since I saw him his order form on Thursday. And who knows, maybe some kid from another troop sold more than both of us. Third prize, a, go a, ro a build a robot kit goes to Josh Husky from Troop 7. Po polite applause. Josh walks up in front and click and collects his prize. I clap a few times, or I think I do. I'm so nervous I can't feel my hands. And now for the top two prize winners. Pause. And there is the first time there that has ever happened. We have a tie. Arthur, Arthur Pashkov and Nate Wright. Both of Troop 3. Please come up, boys. Both of Troop 3. Please come up, boys. Everybody's clapping. People are pushing us toward the podium. I feel numb. So that's what I get for chasing after Arthur for two weeks. A tie? Both the scouts sold 58 wall hangings. They each deserve the grand prize. The Scoutmaster announces as we reach the podium, but there can only be one winner. To determine who the fel who the winner is, we'll flip a coin. What really? That's how we're gonna. That's how we're deciding to get who gets the skateboard. A coin flip between me and the kid who and the kid who never loses. Technically, I know I've got a 50-50 chance, but it doesn't feel the, the, that way. Not against Mr. Lucky. It feels more like. One out of a ten, one out, one out of ten chance, or one out of one hundred, out of one out of a hundred. The scoutmaster nods my way. Call it, young man. And before I can even think about it, the coins in the air, heads, ping, chunka 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 chunka. Heads. It is heads. So I win. I win. Order. This telescope is yours. Thank you. And Nate, the scout, ma the scout master says, here's your brand new skateboard. And along with a certifi 
a certificate to have it custom painted at Ben's boarded wheel. Thanks, I mean I I managed to say hold up tight. So managed to say hold up holding tight to the skate Thanks, I managed to say holding tight to the skateboard. My skateboard, I can't stop staring at it. I guess Arthur's I get Arthur didn't, doesn't always win. Suddenly he's right beside me. He holds up his hand. Good job. Good job, Snake, he says. You are deserved grand prize. I can't tell if he means it or not. See why Arthur's so tough to figure out? He just lost something he tried really hard to win, but he still acts happy for me. It's weird. I invite him over. I invite all the guys to my house to set up my telescope, he says. Come on. You go ahead, Arthur. I'll tell him. I'll catch up. All right, that's it. He finished it, everybody. See you guys next one.